I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the pom-pom stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a very open and lacy type stitch, uh, but it's fairly strong, fairly stable, and it features these beautiful puff stitches interspersed between these chains. It's similar on both sides, and I can't wait to see how you use this in a project. You can let me know that down in the comments as well. Feel free to say hello down there also. For the tutorial today, I'm going to use a 5mm crochet hook along with a 100% worsted weight, medium weight cotton yarn. This is Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. There will be links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also there in the description, you'll find the direct link to the free written instruction, which can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, this channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. So uh, be sure to follow along. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and learn how to crochet this pom-pom stitch. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. And our foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of four stitches plus one extra. So today I'm going to chain a total of 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked to the desired size, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Your chain three at the beginning counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain two and then double crochet back into that same chain. Whenever you work a double crochet, chain two and double crochet in the same stitch in this pattern, it's called a V stitch. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and work a V stitch in the next stitch. So double crochet into the next stitch, chain two and double crochet back into the same stitch. Your V stitch is made. We're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next three, V stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next three, V stitch in the next stitch. all the way across until you have one stitch remaining when you have one stitch remaining you're simply going to work a double crochet into that final stitch that brings you to the end of row one At the end of row one, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn our work. You're then going to skip the first two double crochet stitches and into your chain two space, into the center of your V stitch, we're going to work a puff stitch. To work a puff stitch, you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to do that a total of five times. So there is one, yarn over, insert our hook into the same chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Repeat that, yarn over, insert our hook into this chain two space, yarn over and draw up a loop. That was three, four, and five. Once you've done that five times, you're going to have, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven loops on your hook. 
yarn over and pull through all 11 loops. We're then going to chain three. The first chain kind of secures the puff stitch. There's one, two, and three. Now you're going to reach down and in between the V stitch that you're working in and your next V stitch, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. So in between the next two double crochet stitches, bring your hook down, just insert your hook in that space and work a single crochet. Chain two, and now work a puff stitch into your chain two space. chain three and single crochet in the space between the next two double crochet stitches. Chain two and puff stitch in the next chain two space. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you have your cha turning chain remaining. I have one final V stitch here. Work a puff stitch into that chain two space. You are going to chain one to secure it and then into the top of your turning chain work a double crochet stitch into that third chain. That brings you to the end of your row two. At the end of your row two, we're going to chain three and turn our work. For row three, we're going to work V stitches in the tops of our puff stitches all the way across. So into that first chain one at the top of your puff, of your next puff work a V stitch. Skip everything in between and in the next top of your next puff stitch into that first chain stitch work a V stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, you have your turning chain remaining. You're simply going to double crochet into the top of that turning chain, into the third chain of that starting chain three. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. And that's all there is for the repeat of this pattern. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your row two and your row three. So your row two began by working that puff stitch into that first chain two space, then chain three and single crochet into the space between the next two double crochets, chain two, puff and repeat. So that's all there is, that was your uh, row two and then the row three of V stitches that we just worked all the way across. That's all there is for the pom-pom stitch. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then happy crocheting. Bye.